What's up guys, today we have the Brazilian Grand Prix in my team career mode and today uh, Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty hard episode I think As if we keep this form, we're not gonna be good in the last three races of the season Um Last episode wasn't good, but this episode will be good. I'm sure about that um, can we get a win? Maybe. Uh, anyway, let's get into Colby. Can we get a pole position in qualifying? Who knows? You're just gonna find out in probably like five seconds. First lap of qualifying is uh, not good. As maybe is better than us. And that, oh no, Lando Norris is about a second faster. So we have to gain a lot of time. Uh, let's go for the second lap, guys. You gain half a second, and uh, we're just one tenth of a second behind Joe on you. Um, yeah, we're gonna turn to Ross after that happened. Did I just say Garros? I, I, I had to say we we return to the garage, not Garros. It was even that. I said grass. <laughs> oh, no. uh, we can say we're out of pole position. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we have to get another lap. Cause I feel like we're not gonna have a good qualifying if we don't get another lap. And P18. We have to at least get past. If you can get past Oscar Piastri, that would be great because these cars are all almost at the same time. Oscar Piastri is our target. We have to gain like four or five tenths for that though. It's probably hard, but we can do it, I think. Here we go, guys. We have gained about five tenths. And this is going to lead us to P10. And we are going to get a uh, P18. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, let's get into the sprint. This engineer just told me I have a chance of winning the title, but it lights out, and away we go. And I'm seeing the space on the inside line. I'll go for it. And I think it was a high risk, high reward. What was bad there? Can you just tell me how I legal overtaked? Oh, just a lot of Norris. Okay. Apparently, I don't know why it's an illegal overtake. I don't know what I did. Tell me, please. Uh, I guess it's P9. We are in P9, but can we just improve this time, guys? Can we maybe get into the sprint points? Uh, we have to get some better spin than guitar. I can't just get spun by someone, which puts me into literally last. The, the place before last. Yeah. We have to get a good spot in the sprint right i hope so but here we go lewis hamilton leads the sprint uh we're gonna get nothing or maybe you warm up for the race um i think that's gonna be a warm up for the race it's pretty good uh yeah, it's probably gonna be P9 in this sprint. Because there's a two second gap between me and Lando Norris. Or maybe do I have to defend Stroll to be, get P9? I hope not. So I can maybe get into the sprint points. Here we go, guys. Lewis Hamilton wins the sprint for Mercedes. And. 
something that I know, guys, is that Piastri is gonna try to get past me. I won't let that happen. As if he goes left, I'm gonna go left. And if he goes right, I'm gonna go right. And they spin, but... What was that? They spin me. I should get P9. They spin me. <laughs> I crash, but I cross the line before they overtake me. That's driver of the day. What a race. What sprint, I guess. Formula One returns to Interlagos once again with a stage set for what promises to be another classic Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012 and just four years later Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with nine lefts and six rights for a total of 15 corners. The fastest lap today should have an average speed of around 135 miles per hour if, of course, the weather stays dry until the end of the Grand Prix. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Perez, Leclerc, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Norris, the owner driver, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Gasly, Albon, Bottas, Joe, Magnussen, De Vries, Sonoda, Liam Lawson, Ocon, and Logan Sargent. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. So guys, we're starting at night. I think this is a good strategy, but it slides out. And away we go. We go into the middle and we overtake Lando Norris. Can I get past? Check out the I get spun. And I'm literally going backwards and that's a red flag. Just as always, it's a red flag. To be fair, actually, it's been actually a long time since we had a red flag. Should we just keep this and uh, uh hmm? I think we could. Just go on the hearts till the end of the race. I don't know why that is like that. It's another glitch, probably, as always. But, anyways, we're, why are we in P6? Anyway, it slides out, and away we go. Not a very great race start or red flag start, but to be fair, this is more of a race start, and we are up into. P4 already, we're using our ERS to maybe get past George Russell. Carl Sainz, I think, is going to have to pit. And I think so is Hamilton. We have a chance to win, I think. But can we get past George Russell? And we're going to try to go for it. And we make some contact. I'll try to go around the outside of George. Oh no, no rain. That's even worse. Uh, but anyways, we 
Oh, we went for him to be for a second, but he tried to push me. But I'm ahead. Um, with my thoughts, I think we're gonna win the race if we defend like a lion, just like Alonso told Dohon to do. Um, so guys, yes, in three laps, Hamilton and Sainz have left, absolutely left. They just said bye, and yeah, they don't want to be here, I think. They just are going zoom, zoom. Uh, yeah, and I'm having to defend the cars, so that's probably why. But, but, they are fighting for P1. Um... If they pit, they're gonna probably come out ahead of me. So, the only thing that could save me, you know what it is. <laughs> it's a safety car or a red flag. But I don't want another red flag. I don't want like, are you serious? I'm just talking about this. Was there any reason to get the safety car? No DNFs and you get me a safety car? So you're telling me a safety car just came out, but there's no reason to... Okay. Is it rain? Is it the thoughts of rain or something? Oh yeah. Oh no. No, why would I go off track? We oh, yeah, I can just speed now. Still thinking. Wait, 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 wait. So we're gonna go and race director. Oh. So this is why. We got Bottas, the freeze, Joe Guan Yu, no fun. On some sort of an accident. By the way, don't look at my uh, collisions. Don't look at them. So the safety car is coming in this lap. And that's a great overthrow on Carlos Sainz, right after the line. Um, now we're gonna try to oh, we're gonna try to overtake Hamilton, but Sainz and Perez are fighting. Will Perez come onto the podium? Please no, because Perez has that zoom zoom Red Bull. Why? Why? Well, I um, just why? Why do we have a safety car? Uh, why is wait, wait, where is that? It's science and loss. The freeze, the freeze, the 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 the, the, the freeze. He's in P six. Why are Leclerc and science? Um. What just happened? Did science switch with Nick the Vries and they just... Oh, I'm for... What just happened? Perez went down. P11. Uh, Stroll is of an P3. I think there was some kind of spin. Uh, our second safety car. So we had chaos in Qatar last episode. Pretty much chaos in Singapore last episode. Last episode. Uh, that's pretty much. Oh, I'm thinking of something. Is this gonna be the second part of Abu Dhabi? You know, but this time between me and Hamilton. Okay. So we're gonna have two laps of racing. So we're gonna have two laps of racing. So we're gonna have had two safety cars, one red flag, like, and now. And can I, and can I get past Lewis Hamilton in turn one? We get past Lewis, why? Come here, overtake me, and I will overtake you back in the next corner, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> No! Why do you try to spin me? 
No, Hamilton. I don't want you to win the championship. I mean, I won't, but I want to win this race. What? Lance Stroll P2? <laughs> this race. What is going on? No, 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 no. Lance Stroll is in P1. Uh, yeah, but he won't be in P1 anymore. Oh my god, guys. Are we gonna win the Brazilian Grand Prix? Rain is falling. And we should get the checkered fly in no time. Rain is just dropping in this final lap. And we're still leading. Will we win? We win! The Brazilian Grand Prix. Inside, outside, cutting underneath, we saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race to satisfy the purists today, I think. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. Well, that lead at the top has somewhat shrunk today. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One, so be sure to join us for the next one. So well, guys, I just noticed that this weekend was pretty short of an uh, episode, I was, so I'm just going to do the Las Vegas Grand Prix. To be fair, I actually or already done my outro, but uh, I guess I skipped into quality for the Las Vegas Grand Prix, which is going to have its first time in Formula 1, or in my team career mode, because in other my team career modes of other YouTubers, they have definitely already completed this um race but i just don't don't i don't only put f1 content i do a lot of content for you guys and about talking about content um subscribe so i can get more content for you guys let's get into quality for las vegas though okay guys we have got a 134 oh no uh i break I broke, I braked a little bit late, but we're in P3, uh, 134.9, pretty decent. Um, there are two DRS zones, by the way, in this circuit, uh, and we have gained four tenths already, we're in P5 now, uh, I think we will get, oh, no, no, no. And that's invading that time. Oh. Uh, by the way, guys, I went to the garage and I'm losing time. By the way, for some reason, Ocon Albon came out just ahead of me. Just ahead of me. I have no idea why. Um, I really have no idea why. And why are we losing? Oh, we have fuel. Okay, problem with fuel that always ruins your lap in quality in this Formula One. 
uh, game. I do jump it. There is no reason to stay on track and uh, I made some contact with Albon. I'm pretty sorry about that. Uh, to be fair, mostly I did this so I can use the pit lane. And to be fair, I was losing a lot of time. So, uh, let's see what's gonna happen now. It's P8. Um, so we made it to Q2. And Nick the Vree has got P21. Um, I think some spin happened in the Brazilian Grand Prix, which just made Nick the Vries go past. And I think Nick the Vries missed it. I think that's why um, he was a safety car. Probably something like that happened. Because now I'm thinking, why would he get a picky six in Brazil and the P21 in Las Vegas? It's just two races after each other. Probably something like that. Or maybe Nick the Vries is the GOAT. I uh, probably not, because he got kicked by Alpha Tauri. Sorry, Nick. Anyway, let's get into Q2. Here we go, guys. And uh, into the final turn. And in the final straight we are. Are we going to get a good lap time in Q2? I think we're going to be much faster than Lance Stroll. And we are faster than Lance Stroll. It's a 1.4.5. Uh, I think just better than uh, Q1. We have made Q3, I think. P9. Lance Stroll, Pierre Gasly, Magnussen, Ocon, Hulkenberg, and both of them out. Uh, Q3. Uh, Charles Leclerc gets P1. Can we get on pole position? I hope so, but it's going to be hard, so... I'm aiming for P7, maybe. And Lando Norris is on pole position. Leclerc now beats him. I don't think I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna be enough to beat Leclerc or George Russell. Uh, so I'm in last. I mean. In the first time racing in the track, or not to, pretty much no racing, I think it's good. First time in the home pole, obviously. Uh, uh, but the two title fighters are not in P1, 2, or 3. They're in P5 and 6. Welcome along to Las Vegas. It's Viva Las Vegas tonight. As for the first time ever, the Formula One cars are racing along the strip. I can't wait to see what this place has in store for F1 tonight. 17 corners, three straights, two DRS zones, and the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas as we race around the 3.8 miles of Sin City. The strip has been taken over to become a straight tonight, commanding top speeds of around 212 miles an hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and starting next to them is George Russell. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Albon, the owner driver, Stroll, Gasly, Magnussen, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Joe, Oscar Piastri, Liam Lawson, Sonoda, De Vries, and Logan Sargent. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And with me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. They've been involved in a number of costly incidents lately. That's got to affect their mindset going into this race. It's not an ideal situation by any means. When you get into a bad run like that, there's always a risk of frustration creeping in, which can cause more mistakes and locks you into this vicious cycle. Hopefully today they can get through turn one cleanly and stay calm for the rest of the race.
really know what's gonna go with my strategy, but I'm gonna try it. Anyway, it slides out, and away we go. And I get fast album instantly, and so is Lando Norris. And I get some more overtakes, and I get fast signs. And I don't know when I touched him, but anyway, that's not a problem. And Perez and Leclerc are fighting there for the podium place. Can I just come and sneak the podium? I could sneak P4 as I go around the outside of Charles Leclerc and on the inside of Checo Perez. I corner cut a little bit. But, oh, I get spun a little bit also. And this has been a little bit of chaos, a little, not a lot. Not as much as the Brazilian Grand Prix, definitely. But, the great start from me as I'm in the podium for the first time ever. Obviously, I have in Las Vegas I'm talking about in my first ever race in Las Vegas and Leclerc is gonna he might try to get past me and I go I try to go for a dive bomb but it doesn't work Perez gets past me though and that really doesn't help but I'm gonna try to fight this can I maybe get past Perez in turn one later and I try to go for it. Can I get past Perez? Oh, I make some contact. I barely even hit him though. It's probably the curb that spun me a little. I hate this episode. Uh, not as much as the Qatar episode though, but I hate it. Why, 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 why? I hate safety cars. I just hate them. Where did Perez go? Why is he down in P22? Uh, but he's racing though. I thought maybe he had an engine failure maybe or something, but no. Oh. Nick the Vries. Half of the grid just pits. Uh, I think that's a good idea though. I don't know. It might be, it might also not be, a, actually it's a great idea to pit. Oops, 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 oops. So guys, I have decided to box this lap. Yes, I'm gonna be behind a lot of cars and I might just come, to be fair, I might still be in the points. I'm gonna undercut all of these drivers. From George Russell to Logan Sargent. Cause I wanna have to reach to the safety car. And maybe I can get some overtakes if I reach the safety car. So. This might still be good. And apart from that, by the way, Hamilton has some kind of mechanical problem so maybe that's good and Verstappen is also pitting so I'm not gonna undercut the Red Bull but that's not any problem uh, I should get past okay I got past Verstappen but I don't think I'm gonna stay ahead I don't know actually I might Okay, so no problems have happened, and I have actually stayed ahead of Verstappen. I'm gonna, st I got hard, because I know I'm gonna finish the race on hard. And Perez, sorry, not Perez. Are you serious? Ferrari. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad for Leclerc. Why do you even race for Ferrari? <laughs> That was the weirdest laugh ever, but 
Why? Come on, Ferrari. Is Leclerc really gonna do nine laps in Las Vegas with the softs? I don't think so. I mean, if he does, fair play. But I mean, the safety car might even come in this lap. So this is gonna be weird for Ferrari. And where is Sainz? Oh, Sainz is in P2, but he didn't pit. Ferrari, I'm sorry, but you're dumb. Like, Ferrari and uh, Mercedes are gonna have a nightmare. Because Russell is gonna have. Russell and uh, Sainz are, go are both gonna have to pit. So they're gonna pit, and they're gonna come out in last boat. Hamilton has some kind of problem, and Ferrari have probably done another L strategy on Leclerc. So maybe it's us in the Red Bull to do something, or maybe it's gonna be some chaotic race thing. Oh no, I almost uh, brake checked. I almost went into Perez. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting race, guys. Safety car is gonna come in, and it has almost came in. Uh, and we see Russell and uh, Science both pitting. Ferrari. More L strategies, obviously. I mean, who would have thought that? Everyone. And what an overtake on Checo Perez. And now I am ahead. Of two so guys, can we get past Nick De Vries? We're gonna go on his inside, and we are ahead of my teammate. Uh, so we're up in P8. Just a little bit of corner cutting there, and uh, this definitely doesn't help. But now, what helps is that I overtook De Vries. Now, De Vries might just defend Perez. If he can defend Perez and Verstappen, he will help me a lot. So I can maybe get the overtakes I need to, to maybe get a win, a podium. Or obviously, what I can get, and Nick De Vries is trying to defend him, he goes wheel to wheel with Perez. I mean, he can't do anything about it, as he's much slower than Perez his car is pretty slow oh no oh no guys that's not good that is very not good uh, I can imagine nothing else happening in this race maybe just one or two overtakes from me and defending the, the Red Bulls now guys, here come the bulk of the Red Bulls and the Ferrari, they're gonna have DRS and they're probably gonna zoom past me. Uh, if I can at least stay in the points, and also as I said, yeah, the Ferrari just zooms past me, and here's coming Lando Norris, but I am Dander Ricardo, but better, as I go for the biggest bag bomb ever and... This dive bomb causes a, safe, a red flag. No, 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 no. Why is it a five second penalty? What did I do wrong? Tell me, e for like, tell me, EA. What the frick did I do wrong? What did I even do wrong? They spun me. It's lights out. And away we go. And I get past Pierre Gasly and Lewis Hamilton. Some great overtakes. And I get past Liam Lawson and Charles Leclerc. I'm in P7, but obviously we have a 5 second penalty. So this will bring us down. So if we can get overtakes, we can maybe get into the points. And we're doing overtakes. I'm going pretty aggressive because of this. 
I'm not in P4, no. Verstappen has a penalty. So I feel like I might come into the points. No, no. Why? Why? It just ended this episode. Oh my god. You can't even do this. It's before the last race. win for Aston Martin. A brilliant performance. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The Aston Martin team will be very happy with today's performance. And of course, the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork. And a well-deserved first place finish. After this round of the world champion, so guys, Nick de Vries is head of Verstappen obviously because of his five second penalty. He was so, guys, he was so close to the points like two tenths. So, we're having some great performances by Nick de Vries, and yeah, the DNF. I don't know how many DNFs we had, I think like four or something. We had Jeddah, Belgium, Singapore, Zanvoort, and here it is our fifth ever DNF. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later, and bye. What an episode! It was so chaotic, guys. <laughs>